Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Thursday. It is January 20th, and actually, it's not afternoon. It's almost 11. Josh just left to take Holly to school. Alan and Emily went to school at 8 this morning. I'm just now about to get started on school with the little kids. Um, we had somebody come out and look at our fireplace earlier. Josh took out our gas insert and kind of pulled out some rock on the top, and we're getting a wood stove put there. So he had to come out and get some measurements and things like that, and he said it'd take a few weeks to get it in there. But he just left, so Josh left and took Kylie to school. Um, I'm gonna get some school done with the kids. We're not gonna get a whole lot done today. But we're gonna do what we can. I have a roast in the crock pot for dinner, so that's all set and ready to go for tonight. Um, in a little while, I'm gonna give you kind of like a pantry reveal. I don't have like a bunch of little containers and organize all that, but I just want to show you how it turned out with all of our food, like all of our food and the cabinet fit, all the food in that little pantry that I showed y'all in the last vlog. And that old pantry that we had in here, the tall brown skinny one that I showed y'all, we're putting it down in our basement storage and gonna use that for extra food storage. So, we're kind of getting it set up the way we want. I'm excited about it. So y'all know that I told y'all that Holly wasn't feeling well and Everly wasn't feeling well. Holly was down for one day with no fever. She was better. Everly, however, ran a fever for about three days um, and she's doing much better today. She woke up this morning with no fever, playing. She's kind of, she's not back to her normal self. You can tell like she's real fussy, I guess, because she's just still not feeling like completely herself. I was actually going to take her to the doctor today if she was still running a fever, but since she's improving, I'm not going to take her anymore. She's drinking fluid. She's playing. I don't see the need in and her fever's gone. So praise the Lord for that. So anyway, we're going to see what we can get done in our schoolwork today. And then we're going to have some lunch and then pick the girls up later today at three. And sometime today, I will show y'all my pantry. They are over there right now finding a picture to print. They want to color, do some coloring this morning. By the way, if you have a struggling reader, do not worry about it. The one in the purple that is reading wide open was also a struggling reader. And it's like it just suddenly clicked and she has took off with reading for the past, I would say, eight months or so. She has been reading a lot. And reading so good. Like she can sound just about anything out. Hi, Millie. Are you listening to the story? Are you listening to the story? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so while Holly is over there reading them a book, I'm gonna go ahead and stick lunch in the oven. They all requested bagel bites. We're gonna do some bagel bites for lunch today. Okay, so I wanna show y'all the living room really quick. Um, so you see over there, Josh has tore out the gas insert that was in there and some of the rock. So he came and got measurements. That blue tape is there just because that was an option for the wood heater, which I really don't like that option. That takes up a lot of living room space. Um, this one's going to take a little bit longer, but it's the better option because it does not take up so much space. So that's that. And then it's just rearranged a little bit. We've got the recliner there. And we have the big couch there against like our dining room and kitchen. And my school cubbies that was over there beside the fireplace, we turned it to the side and got our baskets over here, which I really like it against the stairway wall. Plus it's very convenient right there next to the table for our schoolwork. All right, y'all, so it is now the next day. I did not finish vlogging any last night. It's Friday and it's almost two o'clock. So I've got the three oldest girls with me and I've got Millie and we are headed out. Um, I have been wanting to go to Home Goods all week. We actually have this planned since Monday or Tuesday, I think. So, so we're gonna go to Home Goods. I think that's the only place we're gonna get out and shop. Millie doesn't like when the car stops. She's ready for us to go. I see Emily back in the house. She ran out without her jacket. I told her to go get it because it's so cold outside today. But anyway, I figured I would carry y'all along with me today as we go to Home Goods and see what we can find in there. I haven't been in there in forever.
so cute. Expert hunter. <laughs> I've got all the little Eastery stuff out. Some organizational things. I don't know if I need any of those. There's oh, another cool. little egg holder. This is pretty cool. A tray for the fridge. Oh, look at the little cute little towels for Valentine's. Are these on sale? No, these are not on sale. out of home goods we actually walked right down the street to um not the street the sidewalk to Kohl's and looked around I did not find anything at home goods like I thought I was I thought I was gonna find some like cute Valentine's things or things to organize the kitchen with but they had a few little things but I decided not to get anything in there um I can always look at Hobby Lobby and on Amazon Amazon's probably gonna be the best place to find that anyway but I did find this in home goods and thought about Everly because I know Everly hasn't felt the best all week she's doing better today much better but I got her this, I couldn't resist. It's like a little unicorn, and it's got the little blanket wrapped up. I got her this because she's been laying around on the couch a lot, and this could be her little snuggly blanket. She's been making herself a little cuddle spot, so I know she'll be excited to see that. And I'll probably just stop and get the girls, the other girls some candy or something like that to take home to them. But anyway, I'm trying to decide if I wanna make any more stops or just head home. It's a little bit after three, um, I'm not sure yet. Back Surprisingly, there's a lot of traffic. I didn't think there was going to be much traffic today with it being so cold. And we're supposed to get a little bit more snow tonight. Not much. We're supposed to get like a dusting to maybe two inches. Like literally not much tonight. But it would still be so pretty if we got it. I just like watching snow fall. All right, so we didn't go to any more stores, but we decided to make a little pit stop and grab barbecue on the way home. Friday nights we normally do pizza, but tonight we're going to do... um barbecue i'm super excited this is like my favorite barbecue place so we're gonna take barbecue home and I already have sliders at home we'll just put some barbecue on the sliders and eat that with some french fries that sounds good for dinner tonight So it is like several hours later now. We got back home, we had barbecue, and Everly actually started running a fever again. So, with her running a fever um, and not feeling well, I went ahead and took her to the ER tonight. It was the quickest ER trip ever, like ever. Um, we were in there maybe 40, 45 minutes, but they did tell me it was hand, foot, and mouth. Um, for her and it lasts like seven to ten days. So that's why it's kind of lingering on um, I don't think none of my kids have ever had this as far as I can remember I don't think any of them have had this but it seems to be a pretty common thing with small kids So anyway, that's what she has thankful to know what it is um, Now just praying she gets better soon. I gave her some Motrin while we were there So she's doing good right now. She was able to come home and eat some yogurt She's drinking some Gatorade all that stuff. So um, and then Amy started not feeling well tonight So hopefully hers will not be quite as bad as Everly's has been. But anyway, we're home and I know I told y'all that I would show y'all my pantry. So everybody's kind of laying down watching a movie. I've got Miss Millie. I'm going to go ahead and show you our pantry now. All right. So you see the paint and everything's done. The whole pantry's done. And here it is. So we got all of our food in there now and it is plenty plenty of room to fit all of our things. I even have an extra cabinet now, which is super nice. So up there is just some extras, a box of saltines, some hot cocoa, um, mashed potatoes, boxes of cereal. These are the boxes of cereal that we're eating right now. Um, so those are there. We just got snacky foods, bread. Um, it's not perfectly organized right now. I will go through it later and probably organize it just a little bit better, but we just wanted to get all of our stuff in it. So I've got a couple things, peanut butter here, cooking spray. And I also have food storage downstairs. So this is kind of the stuff that we're all using right now and can cook with or whatever. Um, so some sugars in there, some noodles, taco shells, things like that. Um, some oatmeal. All the canned foods are there on the bottom shelf. That's some lemonade mix there. 
And the bottom here is the Rice Krispie Treats that I actually just bought tonight at Aldi. I had to run an Aldi, so I picked up these little Rice Krispie Treats Valentines, and the girls had one of these after dinner for their special treats. That's the box to the hanging basket that just needs to go in the trash. Um, this box right here is my spice jars. Got some paper towels there, a big bag of flour, Josh's lunch box, and some extra noodles down there. And then on the back of the door here is a rack. And I've got all of my spices here on the first two. Third one just has like some Parmesan cheese and different things. Some baking supplies. Got some caramel and like sprinkles and things like that. Loaf bread and then my like aluminum foil and plastic wrap and things like that. So I love, love, love how it turned out and, and how we have plenty of space for food and things. Now I also have some honey up there. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. But yeah, I'm super excited with how it turned out. And it's Friday night, which means movie night. Um, the little kids, I think, are starting a movie in their, in their room. And then the bigger kids want to come in the living room and watch a movie with us. So I'm not sure what we're going to watch yet. We're going to find something to watch. And just kind of hang out for the rest of the night. I wasn't expecting to go to the ER tonight, but I'm thankful that I did. So that I could go ahead and see what was going on with Everly with running a fever. I mean, because like I said this morning, she was doing much better. And then tonight, she the fever came back. So I wanted to get her checked out. Plus, with it being Friday, our doctor's office will not be open again until Monday. So I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way. But anyway, we're going to start hanging out on our Friday night and try to enjoy our weekend. Snow should be coming soon. Very soon. It's definitely on its way. Um, not much. Not anything like we got last week. But getting some. So I'm excited. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye.